Hey guys, what's up? This is Karan here back with a new video and you're welcome to Tekken YouTube channel. I've installed Pixel Plus UI Room which is just released for Redmi Note 8 and all other devices, all other Xiaomi devices too. But I have my Redmi Note 8 so I'm gonna review this build on my Redmi Note 8. This is actually Pixel Plus UI Custom Room which is based on Android 10 and totally stock look as you can see this is based on android 10 and device is getting good means redmi note 8 pixel plus ui version is 1.3 devil x you got the security patch of 5th of april 2020 with google play system update of 10 what other things you get in pixel plus ui custom room is it totally stock based room and it has some customizations or not what about gcam what is the Geekbench score and all other queries will be solved in this video. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. First of all, as always, I will start with the home screen. And as this is a pixel based room and also stock look, so you will get pixel launcher pre-installed as expected. Some options are available like add icons to home screen. You can enable grid options from here and some developer options are available too. Where you get feature flags which you can enable or disable from here. It has some extra developer options. So if you are aware of these kind of things, you can use and enable or disable these things from here. If we talk about some other things, first of all, we will check out the camera. This is a stock camera app which you get here with no extra things. There's an HDR option available which you can enable or disable from here, but it's not worthy. If you want to try out, it's better to use Gcam. I'm using Gcam 7.3 here, which I am easily clicking photos without any issues. But the main thing is you cannot use HDR. You have to keep your HDR off and then you will be able to click photos. If we talk about portrait mode, when you click photos in portrait mode, that's not working. You have to admit that portrait mode is not working in Gcam 7.3. You can try out other versions, Gcam 7.2, 7.0 or any other Gcam version also. And also, you can try out TR Cam, Hyper Cam and lot of other Gcam alternatives. If we talk about some other things like Geekbench score, what is the Geekbench score? The performance of this room is very much smooth. That's why the Geekbench score is very, very good. 312 is the single core score and 1324 is the multi core score. So it's better than your stock room comparison. As you can see, average we got 308, but in this room we got 312 as a single core. And if we talk about multi core, average is 1311, but in this time we got 1324, which is far better than the stock room so that's a very good thing another positive thing for this and also if you talk about smoothness this room is very very smooth i have not customized anything i have not used any custom kernel by default it you get the strom breaker kernel let me show you i have not used any inception kernel or any other kernel here you get strom breaker kernel pre-installed and the smoothness and battery backup both of the things works pretty well you also get the Pixel Plus Papers Wallpaper app pre-installed where you get 4 wallpapers pre-installed like 5 watch pixel 4 styled pixel plus UI and PP UI colored 4 wallpapers are pre-installed all collection and favorites all these options you get here only 4 wallpapers I just thought there would be more wallpaper app but these are only 4 available here okay Let's move on further. Let's check out some other things. If we talk about in settings, there are some extra options available. No, there are no any extra options. This is a totally stock feel room. Network and internet connected devices, apps and notifications, the pixelizer. The pixelizer, it means custom hub. Some customization options are available like traffic indicators, blur behind quick settings, status bar and clock settings. Not many customization options, but still some important things like traffic indicator, which you can enable to to need to check out your network speed in your status bar you have the option to customize your power menu where you can enable the option of screenshot and screen record if we talk about sc screen recording whenever i open this you can see some options available video bitrate at 3 10 mbps 15 25 whichever you want to use you can choose that one you can also choose internal or microphone audio mode Sorry, I have not tested these kind of things, so I cannot show you that it is working or not, but you can try out if you want to try out. 
power menu invert layout some gestures options like double tap to sleep on lock screen double tap to sleep on status bar etc these kind of options you get here vibrate on connect etc only these options if we talk about battery as i already told you battery backup is very very good and it's very nice lasted for long hours styles and wallpapers you get only get three or four as expected styles available here uh, as a form of themes dark theme option is available too screen timeout and display size etc there is no option of hiding the notch which i was expecting actually but it's not available here sound storage privacy location everything is same if we talk about face lock yes there's a face lock option is available and it's working perfectly so that's a very very good thing and a positive thing account accessibility google system about phone everything is same as uh, i as you already know so this was all from today's review if i like to show you the installation let me show you that just boot into custom recovery and make sure you have a custom recovery installed and bootloader unlocked and i have installed skyhawk custom recovery on my device if you have installed orange fox twrp or pitch black or whichever recovery you have installed that doesn't matter but i am using skyhawk custom recovery which you can also use the video for this recovery is already available you can just head over there and check out first of all we have to decrypt our data once we enter into custom recovery so let me decrypt by filling my lock screen pin code as you can see data is successfully decrypted what we have to do is we have to go to wipe section go to advanced wipe dalvi catch system vendor data these five things i have to click and after that i have to click on ok click on ok and all the partitions will be wiped as you can see almost everything is done click on ok now click on flash icon and here select the location where you have downloaded that file so i have this one here pixel plus ui 1.3 gingo 10.0 as you can see 3rd of may update official so just click on ok click on ok and you will be flash this is how you can install pixel plus ui if you want to install google apps google apps are pre-installed you don't have to install google apps as a alternative so this is uh this is all from today's video and if it is not booting for you you can try to format data and your phone will be booted so this is all thanks for watching have a nice day